Uh, hi, my name is Umair and uh, I'm from Pakistan. Uh, the business I'm associated with is related to uh, e-commerce. It's more about uh, eBay and Amazon accounts, selling stuff on eBay and Amazon. So this is what my business is about. And uh, I also have clients from all over the world who are, who, who are using you know, uh, their accounts to sell stuff with me using my services to manage okay. their accounts. Yeah. Okay. And does I understand you're the owner or founder of the company? Uh, yeah. And uh, are you working alone and there are other people, team members, virtual assistants, maybe? Uh, I have an office with uh, around 20 employees. Okay. And all of them are using uh, multi-login or not? Yeah, all of them are using multi-login. Okay. So my question is like, uh, was it easy to set up uh, the work process with multi-login or maybe was it uh, even complicated? Uh, it was really easy because uh, most of the things... Uh, where uh, I was able to set up most of the things, uh, just looking at the options and exploring different things without requiring any help from different people. Uh, maybe around like two or three options I needed help. I just opened a chat with multi-login and they guided me through the process. So yeah, it was easy. It was really easy. Uh, can you also maybe remember what uh, those issues were or? Uh, it was, uh, I think it was related to uh, uh, geolocation and uh, related to resolution because the screen was not opening properly and I was like, how can I make sure that the screen is uh, opening properly and it matches the laptop screen or the screen of my laptop, you know? Okay, and uh, I hope that uh, the support guys were helpful. Yeah, they were really helpful. They connected via team viewer and they just, you know, showed me how to do it. No, oh, that's, that's great to hear. Yeah. Okay, so let's uh, right now maybe go a little bit back in time. And can you maybe describe the, how was your work process before you start using Multilogin? Uh, we were using virtual machines and servers to manage different accounts because, you know, if uh, we are using the same IP to uh, manage more than one uh, marketplace account like Amazon or eBay, they will know and they will uh, restrict or suspend both of the selling stores, right? So we were using virtual machines and servers. They were like extremely slow and expensive where one server costs you around $30 to maybe $50 if you're, you know, creating a regular server. And uh, if you want to expand, maybe create 20, 30, 40, 50 servers, you can see the cost adding up. So yeah, that was, that was how we were doing and uh, it was costing us a lot. Okay. And can you also maybe remember the, the main problem that you wanted to solve? The problem was ease of access and uh, the ability to control how your employees or your VAs uh, can be uh, you know, limited in their access. And at the same time, uh, they have all the access to, but at the same time, you're the one who can make the, you know, some of the final changes. And uh, of course, the speed, because once you are using servers, uh, you pay for the like the RAM, the storage, and everything. And so you're limited if you if you want to create something really having a great speed, it would cost you around sixty, eighty dollar per month. The, the good server, the good virtual machine, yeah. But on multi-login, the it just, you know, the speed is, you know, uh, it doesn't affect your speed, multi-login. It's really fast, it is convenient, and you can just, you know, open it very easily compared to the virtual machines. Okay, that's great to hear. Yeah. And uh, may I also, like, ask, uh, do you remember when you first heard about multi-login? Uh, was it recommended or you found us uh, through research? Uh one of my uh, client was using it and he mentioned that this is something we need to explore. And uh, he took, he wanted my advice on it. He, he said, Mayor, like, you know, this is a software. Can you, you know, check uh, what is it about and if we can save money using it. And then once we explored the software, uh, of course I had to, you know, learn a few of the things about residential and other kind of proxies and, you know, uh, do some research. But once I cracked all the stuff, uh, I was like, wow, this is a game changer. I can, you know, uh, I can save a lot of money using this software and expand easily. Uh, okay. And uh, so deciding factor to pull the trigger and finally buy the multi-login, was it then like the speed, uh, the quality? What was it? Speed and the cost it was saving us. 
because okay. I like each like one profile maybe cost me cost us maybe five to ten dollars at the most if I consider the the price of a proxy or a residential proxy or any of the proxies I need from any any part of the world. But if I'm creating a server, it's costing me like thirty to fifty dollars or even more if I if I want a good server, right? Yeah. So yeah. cost and uh, you know uh, the ability to expand easily. That that those were the two factors. Okay. And uh, before we round up, uh, can we get uh, into the numbers as well? Uh, I would really like to know what your ROI uh, from using multilogin is. Uh, I believe my, uh, you know, the, the, the numbers increased by like 50 times at least. You know, I'm, uh, oh, I can't really, be, yeah, at least 50 times because uh, previously whenever a new client came up and he just had like one or two accounts and he was afraid that he had to be a lot of costs to you know set up those accounts uh, uh i was I, I didn't have any solution for those things but now because i have multi login uh, i can easily accommodate any of the new clients and i tell them don't worry about the virtual machine then or what what would be used to you know manage your accounts because you already have a solution and it wouldn't cost much so it allows my business to you know uh, accommodate new clients easily without having to you know spend a lot of cost especially the startup businesses and at the same time some of my clients that are very established you know uh, it allows me to you know expand really fast without having to worry about any of those things so yeah because these two options are allowing me to save cost and allowing me to expand really fast uh, i can uh, you know I can be fairly certain that it was more than 50 times that my uh, ROI was, you know, increased. No, oh, that's uh, that's really that's really huge and awesome number yeah. to hear. And yeah. is there like any forecast of revenue or growth for this year? Uh, because I have a different number with each of my clients, so uh, I can't really say. Mm -hmm. I, I can't really say about the numbers because I have a lot of clients and all of them are using multi login because I have uh, a setup or few accounts with all of those. So uh, it's hard to say. Okay. Okay. But is there like certain future goals that you wish to accomplish? Like, uh... Uh, yeah, it's uh, because uh, due to COVID and uh, the issues with the, the transport of goods, you know, uh, we are currently not really, you know, looking to expand because of those limitations. But as soon as those issues are fixed, uh, we are, you know, even looking to expand 100 times more because of uh, multi-login. Okay. And uh, my last two questions are, uh, how likely are you to recommend multi-login to other people? And uh, what what is the reason someone should start uh, using multi-login, in your opinion? Uh, the main two reasons I would say are, First is that it is really easy to set up. It is easy to manage and control because I've seen people in the same business, they are using portable browsers, they are using virtual machines and uh, they are not very happy about it. So I would definitely recommend uh, anyone who is using an eBay account or Amazon account and he wants to expand, he wants to open more stores, maybe someone from the family, five, 10, 15 stores, they should definitely consider uh, multi-login because not only it's gonna save their time, but also it's gonna save their money. And of course, it's the speed is really good. You don't have to, you know, uh, you, you don't want to be restricted by the speed of the virtual machines or servers. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's good information. And, and uh, just to add, I already am in a lot of groups where people are asking for solutions to expand. And I'm already recommending everyone multi-login from some time. <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, so... I would also like to thank you for all the feedback and information that you provided. Uh, mm -hmm. We hope that everything you said and mentioned, it will get to the people who actually are still uh, searching or looking for solutions to improve their business. And hopefully mm -hmm. soon they will be part of our team as you are. And uh, again, thank you and I wish you a good day. Uh, have a good day too. Okay, thanks. Bye. Bye.